foreign army invade my own country. So I was in Baghdad with four friends. We taken around around the city and suddenly we've seen big massive tank. So I just try to go to talk to them to let us through. They open the fire and they hit me. This bullets and I believe if we stay two or three minutes more we couldn't have this interview now. Yeah. America caused me to come to this country because um, I'm from Iraq originally. Originally I'm from Iraq and I was born here when my mother she was studying um, her master degree. America invade Iraq for for the reason Iraq has nuclear weapons. Where is the nuclear weapon? They couldn't find it. They can't. They, they found Saddam Hussein. They found their 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 own government, which is who helped him in the past. They found some some rubbish like clashing of This is rubbish. Gun, small gun, but they couldn't find big missiles. So we know why they are in Iraq. It's all about oil. Iraq is the third country who producing oil in the world. My father used to work with the Iraqi government and he used to be a general director of electricity of Baghdad. He's not army man, I said he's not working the army. He's worked for the government like any person in the UK for example. Some people work in the government, some people work in the public uh, companies or private companies or business, uh, family business. My dad has that bomb attack and uh, he stay in the hospital. The hospital, that should be a hospital which is look after the people. There is no doctors, not a lot of them. America destroyed the electricity stations around Iraq and the worst things my dad was on breathing machine so my brother and I thank I think my I, I, I thanks my brother who did everything possible my brother he is a civil engineer he he learned how to give injection to my dad because there is nobody give him injection and they get the visa to get him out to to Dubai but the airplane the aircraft should be in in the 9th of uh, in the 10th of February on that on that year but my dad passed away on the 9th of February because I lost the most wonderful father I ever know. Wife of my uncle being killed by American army. She was she was walking the street with her little girl and the American army with cold blood killed her for no reason. Like America, what they do every single day, killing everyone who they want. Nobody can tell them why. If they say, if they somebody tell them why, security reason we have to protect ourselves, and it's all about money, oil, power. Nobody care about normal people. Some groups kidnapped my brother for none reason. After a lot of investigation, a lot of question, he was lucky. The group who kidnapped him, he was a Sunni group. And from from the name of my family, they know we, we are not involved in any... We, do, we are not a spy, we don't help American, or we don't, we are not with the government. We are just straight family. We, we, are, we, we don't have two faces. We just trade, we don't care. So they release him. Thank God for that. 
So after that, I said, okay, that's the full stop. End of the story. You have to go out, all of you, outside Iraq. I care about this country because I live in this country. I know I'm not from British family, but I live in England. How many people every single day we see in the street? They don't have money. They don't have work. And they are drunk. How many people, or oh, not people, let's say young families, let's say into brackets, young families, they need help. They need, they need to be looked after. Not just give them money, okay, to give, no, no, the money, no, they need help. The money goes to armies. For what? To kill my own people. Yes. That money. Millions, millions, millions of pounds go for rubbish things because of the oil. Instead of spending that money in the army and military staff for none reason, they can spend it and rebuild the people here. Educate them. Do you know something? As you know, because I did my master for two years, the first year, there was none from 40 students, there is none one British citizen, not British citizen, original British citizen, let's say, let's say in this world. Yes. Original, there is none, none of them educated to this level. Yes. And from the second year, there is none. Do you, do you get the idea? My family give me more than love. They give me everything they can. Even if they cause that their life, they're gonna give it to, them, to me. So whatever I do, I'll not, yeah. I'll not match what they gave me. That's what I'm trying to do with my son and my wife. I wanna give them everything possible so the most important is in this life, what my family taught me is respect, love, and help people. Because more you help, you're going to get reward. Not in just in your life, in the judgment date. Whatever the religion, Muslims, Christian, Jewish, any... So that's, that's how I get here, because of the war. And I just want to live in peace. I want, a good, I want to build a good family and make them proud of their country, proud of themselves, to, be get, to, to get better education, better health, self, health service. And that's, what, that's the one. Do you think, do you think, nothing. Mr. Bush comes to my country and invades um, for nothing? No, he definitely knows we cook very nice food. <laughs>